Hey out there to Radio Land, Shop Dog Sam, here on the east coast of Arkansas. As you can well see there, uh, I, I've not been, I've been kind of laid back for a week or so. Because the the problem was that this 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 little thing right here broke off of this tripod. It's a tripod right there. It goes from top to bottom, and it made one leg shorter. When she taped that up, the duct tape girl put that repair on there. I mean, it's going to work. I'm always plagued with these tripod problems. Well, that's not. Uh, let's get past that. That what I'm going to do today is y'all see that. That right there, that's a one and a half horsepower McCormick Deer and Igniter Model M. And, and the problem is, is so often that this exhaust pipe, the threads in the other end, as is this one, the threads are no good. And uh, several owners are reluctant to remove that pipe right there. And a standard rebuild dictates that if you've got a bad part on there, you should replace it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get them out the easy way. Uh, the uh, If you turn that in the housing, if you twist that with a big pipe ring, so often it pulls the threads with it. This way you retrain your threads and then you can put it in the electrolysis tank. We're going to get her done. I've got this thing right here. I done already watched the video up there about this little thing here on that M you done got. And, and what I'm going to do is we're going to get these pipes out of this. That's a pretty good part right there. Even though you can buy that new at the hardware store. That's not a, that's not a rare item by no means. Just go to the hardware store. The one that's got it. And get you one. But it's better to keep this old model one. Which is what we're going to do. And I'll show you how to get them out. But let's get this other one up here out first. Let's get her out of there now. I sawed it off there level with the thing there just so I could get a good bite and see how thick it actually was. But you see that chisel I got right there? It's one of them that I ground on the grinder over there. Uh, I think maybe they call them a cape chisel or something like that, but it's it's at, the, at an angle. And what you want to do is whittle away. You want to whittle away. I would done have this one done if I was not talking. But you cut a you cut a notch down in there, and what the if you noticed if you noticed that when where I decided to chisel it is actually the thickest part of the housing. So this one actually. This one actually was not worn, I say worn, rusted away. It was not rusted away too bad because it's quite thick. Some of them will be paper thin. Okay, do you see what I did right there? I cut a groove. Similar to a keyway, and you can cut a keyway with this chisel right here. But you just work that away, and once, once you cut through the right amount of diameter, then you can chisel the other part away, and it will relieve. Okay, the uh, I, I'm not quite through. So, what I do is take another pass. Now, when you're doing this, you want you want to use caution and don't chisel into your the threads in the head. Don't chisel in, don't make a gap in those threads. You see that? See, when I chisel sideways, it actually roll that around. And that's what you want to do. Uh, oh, we about out of here now. Let's get that other hammer. Oh, yeah. We, that's 
casting so we did break that part off and that's what you want to do you want to get that thing out of there without any harm to the threads this is actually this is actually a standard this is a standard repair for these engines uh, when you rebuild an engine this is one of the things you would actually do now I'll run a that looks really really good clean enough to use as is as these threads here sometimes they'll be rusted beyond recognition not the case here so I'll put this electrolytes tank oh that's really good and and when I was what I was going to do I was actually going to saw this other one off and do the same thing but I'm going to do it tomorrow so with that with the head side Let's get on with this thing right here now. I'm going to saw them off and we'll take them out. Okay, we're going to saw that off and get it out of there. Actually, somebody cut that off with a torch. That's a good thing. Y'all want to use caution when you're in the shop doing stuff like this right here. Now this stuff sharp. Okay, we got it cut out of there. See how thin it is? It's rusted away from the inside. This will be an easy one to get out. Let's get her done. Hey, you, do y'all see that vice right there? I think you can get them things for about a dollar ninety-nine if you got enough coupons. Anyways, what what I done? You remember we sawed that off, and I got a piece of three-eighths inch uh, bar stock because that's about the makes that level. Put that down in there. Put that spacer underneath there just to take the tension off of it. That's all, and tighten her up. Now, once you, once you get that on there, use that rule there. Wherever you want to cut this out should be to the to the to the edge of the thickest diameter, which is, is this one over here because you've got that big part right there closer to the top, so you got more support on that side. So, anyways, once you make once you make that decision, you see this chisel right here. I ground it like a diamond. As compared to this one, it's straight across. You couldn't cut a keyway with this chisel right here unless you took a corner cut. And you would need both of these, actually, to clean up the corner. I looked that up. Let that be the lesson for the week, how to cut a keyway, what kind of chisel you need. And, and you can use that chisel here. Okay, that's enough of that. The, uh, the reason for this video is the uh, tighten it up. The this this uh, old Lauren girl, you know, I don't give much shout outs, but she got some pretty good engines. And I was watching one of her. I was uh, watching a video, and this was her problem. I'm going to switch chisels because I, I thought I yeah, that was a good choice. Okay, now, uh, that one right there, I cut so close to the housing that it actually rolled up. It rolled it right up out of there. Now, this is just how easy this is. Y'all see that? We got that thread out of there. Yeah, you know what? Uh, there, there's just no reason to buy one of these is the point I'm making. You can fix the one you got right there by this video. I do hope it has been some, some form of help. And I tell you what, not to get off the subject, I, I, this is what we started with. We that's then this is what it looks like in there. I'm just saying, uh, you know, leave a comment. I'm gonna get this one out later. 